Chennai in 2012. We started with a really small number of schools, about 10 government schools. And the objective of having Teach for India in Chennai was to work with the Chennai Corporation to strengthen the various things they're doing in school education. Um, and we're doing this by two parts, right? So one is the fellowship. So since, um, since 2012 when we started in Chennai, today we have about 37 schools where we have about 107 fellows who are teaching from anywhere from grade 3 to grade 8. And what this is helping us do is it's helping us understand what are the education challenges and what are the various initiatives the government is doing across different different zones. So our schools are 37 corporation schools that we work with are in different parts of the city right from Coimbedo to Tiruvannur to Saidapet and that's really helping us. If we look at how this partnership has been, I think there have been many pillars that have come together to make this possible. Uh, the first thing I think about is really at a school level. Um, we are always working with the other people in the school. So we are in a few classrooms and so there are a lot of other teachers in the school and there is the HM and there are other uh, staffs in the school. And what we have found is that there's a, there are a lot of things to learn from each other. So for example, our fellows probably because of the demographics, access to technology, are able to access many more opportunities whether what's coming out on the paper or the net and bring that to the students. So I think that's really, really helped us at a school level. If we zoom out and look at like the larger partnership between Teach for India and Corporation, it's really helped us to receive constant feedback. Um, every month we meet with the different officials of the government to just get feedback on what is working and what we can do better. Because we do believe that in this we are together. And by getting constant feedback, we can learn and improve whatever we are trying to do to strengthen what the government is already doing towards public education. The structures are in place to just ensure that the child is not, uh, just the academics of the child is not being focused on. There is this structure called Bala Sabha, which happens every Friday, which gives an opportunity for every child to showcase his or her talents. So I think this is one of the most amazing structures that the corporation has set up just for the teachers to explore the strength of each child, uh, the hidden potential, the skills which each child actually possesses. So Teach for India model works in a way that uh, as a fellow we develop ourselves as a leader. In the same way we try to inculcate certain set of values and mindsets which will ensure that, that the child grows up to be uh, a person who is equipped with not just academics but also life skills which are necessary to become a more socially responsible and an independent individual. So if uh, so each of us have a vision for our class where we intend each child to be say after one year, after two years, after ten years of their lives. So we want them to be uh, really confident individuals who are able to articulate their thoughts really well in front of the world. Education is one issue which when actually well focused on will definitely yield the results and because children are the future citizens of our country. So we ensure that the child develops into a socially responsible individual who can think independently and voice his or her own thoughts. Our role is more like a mentor who ensures that a child uh, in its very primary uh, time uh, is actually molded into a, a very responsible individual. Uh, when I joined Teach for India, uh, that was my uh, probably my first experience and uh, experience with uh, government schools. I had no clue of how a government school uh, really works, and uh, I was really fascinated by a lot of things that they do. Like uh, for example, like the summer chief syllabus. Like I was I was from a CBSE syllabus, and I found summer chief syllabus to be really nice. Like it was very broken down. At the same time, it had a very good rigor, and. Uh, the, and also the, the ABL techniques that the teacher follows, like uh, it's called the activity based learning. So most of the government teachers do take up uh, activity based learning classes in their classroom. So be it math, they use a lot of concrete objects to, you know, teach. Well, I teach uh, a set of girls in grade 7 in Chennai Girls High Secondary School, Saidabed. Well, uh, one thing that I found right at the beginning is with my community was that it was considered to be unsafe for girls and uh, there were a lot of rituals and myths around them uh, roaming around in the community. And so one of the biggest myths that I had when I went into the school was that 
probably the teachers would just focus on academics and uh, wouldn't actually cater to the community needs or what do the girls need from when they are from that particular community. So, but two months or three months into the fellowship, what I realized was um, those teachers who've been there with the system, with this, with that specific school in that particular community, and some of them even reside from the particular community, they have such a sound understanding of the context of the schools and context of the children. So that is one thing I definitely learned from them on how to actually contextualize values or mindsets and to impart that to the children. So that uh, I would say all the value systems and uh, the evaluation system which I found from corporation very interesting because it ha actually has a uh, grading system even for values for kids, not only for academics. Mm -hmm. What I see is uh, probably lacking, I would say exposure, one, and then uh, the parent investment. Only these two things I am focusing on right now in my classroom. Uh, I try to give maximum exposure that's possible through a lot of videos, activities, uh, through a lot of other uh, bringing uh, the talent of the potential of the kids, making them participate in various competitions that is possible. And how I uh, take parent investment is that most of the parents from my community, I would say around 70 to 80 percent, are mostly alcoholic and physically uh, abusive for both the kids and the uh, all the other members of the family, their mother and they always get into quarrels and that kind of pulls down uh, the energy of the child itself to come into class and then concentrate on what I am teaching. Maybe how I can leverage the low income community to integrate technology into the way the education being catered to. So I wanted to improve the academic scores of the kids and so uh, I allowed them to tinker with them, Microsoft Excel and understand their scores which has been updated and they analyze their scores and they come up with next steps for effectively improving their scores and, and uh, I have even started programming classes for the children and uh, I have partnered with Alahamora uh, organization which uh, where TFA alum is working and we are trying to import digital literacy to the children as well.